Hi, this is uh, Eugene Blanchard from TelecomWorld101.com, and today we're going to talk about what is VoIP, Voice Over Internet Protocol. Um, this is a copyrighted um, video. You are allowed to link to it, to view it, to use it in any manner you like, except you're not allowed to edit it, copy it, post it on your website, or indicate in any manner that it's yours. That would just be wrong. So what is VoIP? Well, first question is, what is it used for? It's used to make telephone calls over the internet. Right? So what's the big deal about that? Well, you can save money on long distance calls. Calls going through the internet are free. So all of the long distance calls that you used to pay for now, they're free. So what else? Well, it's a big advantage for businesses because VoIP phone systems cost less than expensive legacy systems. Legacy is another word, for, a polite word for saying old. So the old legacy systems or hardware devices, they were incredibly expensive. VoIP is a lot less. It's affordable. Even small businesses can afford a VoIP phone system. And they come with all the bells and whistles you'd expect on a expensive system. So VoIP phone systems provide phone features that only the most expensive legacy systems used to offer while costing much less. We're talking like one-tenth or one-twentieth the cost of the uh, legacy systems. They use the network infrastructure that you already have in place. Uh, uses the same network cabling and Ethernet switches that you already have. So really, uh, we don't have the cabling infrastructure. In the past, we would have two different uh, network systems. One would be for our data using Ethernet. Then we have another cabling system that would be used for your uh, telephone system. Now we have uh, one system that we can use, and we call it convergence. Uh, Vo VoIP phones have way more features. Uh, here's an example of a VoIP phone on the uh, left and a legacy on the right. Now, over here, all of these buttons here on the side, on the bottom, over here, on the end, they're all programmable, so you can program them any which way you like, and you can have different features and functions. It's a software device, so you can program this phone to have all sorts of things. I've seen some where what happens is that you want to check the weather by zip code. You can do it here. You want to check the area code of someplace. You can do it here. and that. So you can program it any which way you like. There's some more buttons over here I missed. Right, so we find out with VoIP phones, they're very uh, extensible is the term they use. Now something else you can do is you can get soft phones. So, and here's an example where you can get voice over IP apps to make your iPhone, Blackberry, and Android into a VoIP phone. So what happens is as soon as you go into a Wi-Fi area, the phone converts from a cell phone into a Wi-Fi, and now you're not paying any of the uh, uh, cell phone charges. What you're doing is you're getting free uh, uh, connections as long as you have a, a VoIP PBX that you're talking to, private branch exchange. Uh, PCs can be soft phones too. Um, you just need an internet connection and headsets. So um, here's an example of 3CX, a very common free soft phone that you can run on your PC or laptop. Uh, another one on the other side is X-Lite. That's an older version of X-Lite. And then there's one on a laptop. Now when you use a laptop, most laptops come with a, a speaker built in and, and a, a microphone also, so you don't even need headsets. Headsets make it uh, a lot better. Uh, because voice over IP is software based, you can tailor your phone systems by configuring through a graphical user inter interface. Uh, quite easy. This one shows uh, you can set a destination. Maybe this is a destination for uh, interactive voice response. You know, you press one for for sales, press two for this, and they say, okay, what happens when I press one? Well, you can send it to a queue. Maybe you have a call center, uh, so you'd send it to a queue waiting a priority call center, or maybe uh, press two and you want to go to a phone book directory, and or two you want to go to another IVR that says a submenu or custom destination of some type or maybe you, uh, you, know, you just want to terminate the call hang up or you want to send it to a specific extension or uh, send it to voicemail, right? So you have uh, these software bases, GUIs, and it's quite easy. Now, if you have a unique application, you can actually cost customize it and reprogram the PBX. So you put a little bit of software development in. Uh, maybe you don't have the, uh, the knowledge to do that. Well, there's, there's a lot of people out there that do know how to do it and you can find it. Uh, some unique applications they do. There's one that's um, for the hospitality industry in hotels. Uh, so what happens is that when uh, uh, a customer checks out at the uh, um, checkout desk, what happens is a, a phone call is automatically sent to uh, the maid service to make up that room. When the maids have finished making up the room, they just phone a number in the phone system and they put in the room number and it comes up on the uh, um, 
the reception that says that room is now available. So you can do all sorts of custom applications like that and reprogram it. Um, now, what this differs with the uh, uh, legacy systems, legacy systems were hardware based. If you wanted to make a change, you'd have to change the firmware on the har hardware or put in a new uh, circuit board or redesign a board. It was very difficult. Well, with uh, voice over IP, it's software based. And what we find out is that you can make changes in a matter of uh, um, hours or days or, or whatever. It's uh, very, very fast to do. Now, there's a lot of uh, commercial packages available, off-the-shelf VoIP systems that you can purchase. There's from Ivea, Digium, uh, Cisco, Shortel, many more, Samsung. And that uh, it, it's it's very it's pushing out the legacy systems just because it's so much fl so flexible and it's inexpensive. Uh, you can also build your own using open source. Uh, Asterix is a, a PBX engine, or FreeSwitch is another one. Um, or you can get distributions like FreeBee PBX or PBX in a Flash or uh, Trixbox and 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 tons of these ones. You can grab a. Uh, you don't need much computing power, surprisingly. You can use a, an old PC that's lying around, and you can make a test system together and play around with it. And that's how I got into the, the industry, is I started playing with Asterix and that. So this is just a, a what is VoIP in a nutshell? VoIP stands for Voice Over Internet Protocol. I'm Eugene Blanchard of telecomworld101.com. I hope that this video was helpful.